Mati. Still coming live and direct from the Dodge Ram Studios on a rainy day here in Ohio. Beautiful Ohio. Um, I wanted to send a quick shout out, of course, to my man Mark Bain. He's got the Red Cup premiere video coming out. He did a little piece with the Red Cup hot little track. Um, we'll be posting on the page, so support him. You know, if you can, that's the TU, Tuskegee, Alabama family, TU for life. Um, real quick video on America, the divisive, racist, prejudiced place it is. Uh, my last piece was on reality TV buffoons, which I feel we have become in this country, a bunch of reality TV buffoons. Even the presidency now is reality TV, and you no, know, every so often they have a great episode. And now we're in the episode where basically it's okay to lie it's okay to lie to people that vote for you because they're stupid and basically that is the message that's been sent out with this trump presidency that americans are gullible and americans are stupid they will vote and support anything they will listen to anything and they will believe a person who's totally not credible doesn't really give a damn about them. He only cares about his, his rich cohorts of buddies. It's not even a Republican because he's more Democrat than anything. And they will continue to support him and protect the lie. So we got Donald Trump who continually gets on TV. Trump Jr.'s son who went on this rant about fake news, fake news, when he's the fakest news on TV, him and the rest of his Fox uh, cohorts. I guess Fox News is the only real news on TV. So everything's fake news, but then he lies on TV, lies about meeting with Russians. Now we're all communists since, you know, I guess the hillbillies and uh, white supremacists of the world now love the Russian people so much. So he gets on TV, he lies, and then they make a story where, okay, let's see if he gets caught up in the lie with the American people still believe him. And, you know, these fools still do. He gets on TV, well, you know, um, um, well, if I would have done it different. You just got through talking about fake news and people out to get your daddy, but then we get this corny story where now you're a part of more of the fake news. Lies, lies, deceptions, deceptions, and the stupidity of the American people. What we preach here and what I've been preaching for a long time is we need to wake up. A lot of people on YouTube are being shut down for trying to preach this lesson. Do some of them have certain ways of doing it? Yes. Do some of them have a lot of good information? If you sit and actually study the information, yes. I'm a big Gematria fan. I study Gematria. I study the numbers. I see the same numbers all the time. It's not a coincidence. I'm not making it up. They're not making it up. It's actually going on. But, you know, that's my opinion. But as Americans, we have to start really, really paying attention to what we're allowing people to do to us. And I think that we've got so comfortable with this American privileged idea that we don't realize that we're being screwed over by our own people. The Trumps don't give a damn about you. The Trumps don't give a damn about your children. And they damn don't show don't give a damn if you have a job or not. That's just the reality. Where's the jobs? While all this foolishness is on TV, where's the jobs? You got fools arguing about health care. They want to repeal getting help, basically. I come from a state where Medicaid pretty much is keeping the state alive, and that's white and black. White and black. Not all this, we're only black people on Medicaid. Fuck that, no. Everybody's on fucking Medicaid. Poor does not have a color. We need to stop the racist, Racism, we need to stop the diversity, we need to stop the prejudice and start to see what the fuck is going on. Poor doesn't have a fucking color. Drug addiction does not have a fucking color. And you assholes sit on your back, oh man, it's only the black people and they got the food stamps. Oh, white motherfuckers got food stamps too. Latinos got food stamps too. Asians got food stamps too. Stop it. Because if you don't, you're gonna continue 
to stay in the trap that these hypocrites out here are setting for you because you want to be diverse, so diverse, you want to be so prejudiced every fucking day. Our job as mankind is to help each other, not hurt each other. And we sit and let these reality TV fools on Fox News, MSNBC, CNN rule our lives. When are we going to take our fucking lives back is the question. Mr. Maki, back row ministry, wake the fuck up.